It's the gray that leans softly against your skin, or the blue hues that bring out your wonderful eyes. Those are what remind me of your presented beauty. It's the way you laugh, the way you smile, the way you cry, or perhaps it's the way you speak, or the way you read, or the way you live. That's what will keep reminding me of your essence. And it is with the greatest respect that I tell you that that shade of red is not suited to who you are. It's the way you enjoy your moments of happiness and wonder that continue to keep reminding me that you must know better. And I don't know what to say or how to say it because I can't comprehend how you start or continue, but we know how it will always end without solution, as if nothing ever happened. I always thought that the most powerful image is, is tears of blood. That when suffering eclipsed the range of emotions which people are able to express that our wails of tattered empathy welled inside our tear ducts and we'd go to blot our eyes and the tissue would vocalize for us the heinous crimes that we see with all of our senses. It took me several years and several tries to find that when you cut yourself, your arms are your eyes. They shed the blood of tears and tyranny upon yourself by yourself and others. They bring the joy of pain which you've grown and grown up upon. The razor blade smiles leap across your skin in haunted crooked grins and I want to reach out and let you know that you can cut me too. Because I don't want you to have pain alone. I want you to survive and I want you to find your happiness without falling while malting. The stump of your wings is not from self-mutilation but torn into scars which other people wouldn't leave alone and you then found identity in. I think you are still an angel and I still think that red is not your color.